Well, newly obtained charging documents accuse a Baltimore County officer of spitting on a man and kicking him during an arrest, and it was captured on video. Tonight, Baltimore County police are again refusing to release those images. WJZ investigator Mike Calgren is live where it unfolded on Liberty Road in Milford Mill with a search for answers. Mike? And Mary, I just got off the phone with the officer's lawyer. He says the charging documents in, are inaccurate, that his client never spit on the suspect, that the suspect was not fully handcuffed, and that the video shows the use of force was appropriate. Of course, police could probably clear this up if they released it, but they will not do so. Charging documents WJZ obtained provide a graphic description of a man assaulted, Baltimore County police say, by one of their own officers. Two weeks ago, Diamante Farrar surrendered to officers off Liberty Road after crashing a stolen car. Baltimore City's police chopper was overhead, and what happened next, captured on the helicopter's camera, has veteran officer Christopher Spivey facing criminal charges. According to those new charging documents, the video shows that Farrar stops running and lays on the ground as the officers were approaching, giving up. At that point, an officer is seen running up to Farrar, and this officer is seen kicking Farrar in the upper body. The video does not show that Farrar is resisting arrest in any way. The video also shows the same officer kicking Farrar two more times as he was being handcuffed by the other officers. While Farrar was still laying on the ground, Officer Spivey is observed leaning over Farrar. Spivey appears to spit on the head of Farrar. WJZ has repeatedly asked Baltimore County Police for that video, but they will not release it, citing the ongoing investigation. I'd rather see it. I'd rather see it. Farrar's grandmother told WJZ this week her grandson turned himself in on the advice of his uncle. Just get out the car and, you know, just yield to him. And, um, he was like, I'm afraid. Officer Spivey's attorney says his client did not spit on Farrar, and spitting is impossible to see from the helicopter video. He also says Farrar only had one hand cuffed when the incident occurred, not both, and posed a danger at that point. And Spivey's lawyer says other officers on the scene will back up his client's story. It was not any of those officers on the scene who reported the assault. Rather, it was the city police chopper pilot and two others inside that chopper. Reporting live in Milford Mill, Mike Elgren, WJZ Eyewitness News. All right, Mike, thank you. Many jurisdictions have recently been releasing police footage in high-profile incidents, but county police believe any video released here could taint the case.